Hey guys, welcome back to another Squealing Pig Guitars video. In today's video, we're we'll checking out this stunning Gibson Les Paul Custom 68 reissue, and this happens to be a 50th anniversary model. So let's break down the specs and take a closer look. So as I said in the intro, this Gibson Les Paul is a 50th anniversary of a 68 reissue. Um, some really cool specs on this. It's a very, um, I guess, historically accurate guitar as a result of it being a 50th anniversary. Um, some of the cool features are on the ABR1 bridge here. We have nylon saddles, which gives the guitar a nice mellow sound. Um, we have a one-piece mahogany body with no maple top. Um, we've got a mahogany neck, and we've got some cool Cluson waffle back tuners, which I really like the look of. Um, it's a very regal looking guitar. You know, these were initially made for jazz band, you know, guitar players to max uh, to match their suits. Um, so hence the black and gold looking very kind of rich. Um, but yeah, you know what a Les Paul custom is. It's very standard specs. So let's hear some of the tones. So we'll start off clean. This is the neck pickup. These are custom buckets, I believe, with Alnico 2 magnets in. So they're quite, um, they've got a lot of brightness to them. So let's have a hear just on that neck pickup. Full volume, full tone. Yeah, very nice sweet tone, but a lot of brightness. And uh, this is the middle pickup. Yeah, very sweet tone from there. Again, a lot of treble, uh, really good for clean playing. Got a lot of clarity, and this is the bridge pickup. This will be very trebly. So personally, I really like it when Les Pauls have a lot of treble to offer. Um, I think it's really good for gain settings, especially, and we'll listen to that in a minute. Um, but especially for clean playing, you can hit all the notes of the chord, which are really good. Um, so if you're playing a band, you're definitely gonna get heard. Okay guys, so I've just switched over to the gain channel on the amplifier, so we're gonna hear this Les Ball Custom in a little bit of a metal mode. So let's hear it. <laughs> Stunning tone, a lot of treble, a lot of mid range, really good for cutting through. So bridge pickup on these Les Paul Customs just sound amazing. Really, really thick, meaty tones with that mid-range. Um, on the gate, oh, sorry, on the amp, we don't actually have that much gain. I'm boosting it with a little overdrive pedal, but it's not really, really heavily distorted like some Les Paul Customs can be. It's got a lot of range, a lot of dynamic range. If I knock back the volume a little bit, you'll hear the range of these pickups. Um, Yeah, if we just hit onto the neck pickup now, you can hear that one. So yeah, 
again, lots of clarity there. Um, the neck pickup was a little bit more flowy than I'd imagine it being how kind of trebly it was on the clean settings, but it's definitely very usable, but it's quite a classic tone, probably better for more clean stuff. So if I demonstrate that now, uh, we'll turn one of the overdrives off to make it a little bit cleaner. <laughs> Here's the, uh, the two pickups together in a similar kind of tonal setting. Um. So in conclusion, I really like this Gibson Les Paul Custom. I'm a massive fan of Les Paul Customs anyway, but this particular one has a really good zing to the chords. As you can hear, unplugged. There's a lot of treble response just naturally in the guitar, which is really good for a recording guitar, in my opinion. Um, it's quite a heavy guitar, but obviously you kind of expect that from a Les Paul Custom with um, no weight relief. Um, and I really like these nylon saddles because it makes the tone a little bit mellower as a result of it being such a treble guitar, so you can get some really nice clean tones. I think this is great for clean and blues stuff. It can handle the metal tones, but I think it, um, these pickups are specially designed for blues and cleaner stuff. If you have any questions about this guitar though, make sure to send us a message here on YouTube or Instagram. And um, we hope you've enjoyed today's video and we'll see you in the next video. See you guys. Ooh.